Hello students, okay, let us start the next part of the regression of model 3. Uh, here let us start example, compute x bar, y bar and r from the following equation of the regression lines. 2x plus 3y plus 1 equals to 0, x plus 6y minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, in the previous examples we have seen, uh, they, they have given the set of x and y values in the form of a table. There we are computing x bar, x bar is nothing but mean of x and y bar, y bar is nothing but mean of y and r, r means quotient of correlation. Okay. Uh, here they are asking to compute the same x bar, y bar and r from the following line of regressions. Means here, uh, while when x and y are given, we are finding x bar, y bar and r. With the help of x, uh, x bar, y bar and r, we are finding lines of regressions also. But here they have given line of regression. Here equations they are given. They are asking to find x bar, y bar and r. Means mean of x and y and coefficient of correlation. Okay. Let's start this one. Okay. Uh, since lines passing through passing through x bar and y bar therefore these given equations again rewrite it as 2x bar plus 3y bar plus 1 equals to 0 and x bar plus 6y bar minus 4 equals to 0 or again rewriting these equations as 2x bar plus 3y bar equals to minus 1 x bar plus 6y bar equals to plus 4 transferring constant to the RHS and after solving these two equations we get after solving these two equations, we get x bar equals to minus 2 and y bar is equals to 1. Means on solving these two, on solving these two equations, we have x bar equals to minus 2, y bar equals to 1. Okay. That means one, uh, uh, one, uh, two parties over x bar and y bar. Next we need to uh, find R. R is nothing but correlation coefficient. Okay. As in the previous examples, we have seen uh, formulas like R is equal to summation of x, y upon square root of summation x square, square root of summation of y square. This is one formula and one more. Uh, uh, sigma x square plus sigma y square minus sigma x minus y square upon 2 sigma x sigma y. These two are equations we are using to find the correlation coefficient. This we are using when, uh, when x bar and y bar are uh, finite numbers with whole number. Uh, when, uh, this formula we are using when r is um, this in decimal number. These two formulas we are using. Okay. But by using these two formula we can't find R. But for that one more formula we have. That is um, we are going to find R from the coefficients of X and Y. Okay. Let's see that one. Okay. Again rewriting these equations. That is 2X plus 3Y plus 1 equals to 0 is the this rewriting as uh, y is equals to or 3y is equals to minus 2x minus 1 or y is equals to minus 2 by 3x minus 1 by 3 rewriting this equation next again uh, one more let's take the equation 1 Next, let's take one more equation that is x plus 6y minus 4 equals to 0. Just rewrite this one as 6y is equal, or in terms of x, x is equals to minus 6y plus 4. 
Okay, from these two equations, we are going to find coefficient of correlation, uh, coefficients of x, correlation coefficients of x and y. Here we are finding first one, coefficient of coefficient of correlation of x. It is given by sigma. R into sigma x upon sigma so sigma x upon sigma y and here it is the coefficient of x from one that is minus two by three. This is from equation one. Next coefficient of correlation or correlation coefficient of y. Coefficient of correlation. y it is given by r into sigma y upon sigma x and it is uh, we can get it by equation 2 that is minus 6 from 2 then we have a formula to find correlation quotient r is equals to r is nothing but quotient of correlation square root of quotient of x into coefficient of y and we have coefficient of x is minus 2 by 3 into coefficient of y is minus 6 and this is equals to square root of 4 which is nothing but 2 r is equals to now here we have obtained plus or minus 2 you can say plus or minus 2 but by property we know that r is lying between minus 1 less than equals to r less than equals to plus 1 we know that r means the coefficient of correlation that lies between minus 1 and plus 1 okay if you solve by this method we are getting uh, r is equals to 2 which is more than the uh, r required r value so to get the uh, the in the uh, limiting value we need we need to write equations once again just look at this how to write those equations here we are rewriting the equations this type of problems will come you need to check if you are getting r more than the uh, required value you need to write the given equations that is here 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. This you can write it as 2x is equal to minus 3y minus 1. Or x is equal to minus 3 by 2y minus 1. Let us take it as equation 1. Next. One more equation is that x plus 6y minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, this you can write it as. 6y is equal to uh, minus x plus 4 or y is equal to uh, minus 1 by 6 x minus sorry plus 4. Let us take it as equation 2. Okay. Next again we, are, we will find coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of a. correlation of x. If we know that that is r into sigma y upon sorry r into uh, so sigma r into sigma y upon sigma x that is equals to from equation 1 here this we have minus 3 by 2 that is from 1 oh, no there we have become 1 and 2 no let us take it as 3 and 4 that is a part of solution only that you can't uh, erase. Okay, next coefficient of correlation of y that is r into sigma x upon sigma y is equals to uh, it is minus 1 by 6 that is from 
equation four. Okay, next now we will find Gaussian correlation of R. R is equals to square root of coefficient of x into coefficient of y. That is equals to square root of coefficient of x is what minus three by two into minus one by six. Now you just find the value square root of uh, um, minus three by two and minus one by two. We will get the answer as plus or minus one by two. Here three one the three two the minus into minus plus. It is one upon four. One upon four square root is plus or minus one by two. Or nothing but this is a, how much it is. Plus or minus point five. You can see that point five which lies in the within the limits. That is R lies between. We know that R is minus one to plus one and point five is within the limit. Therefore, this is our required answer and this is the correct. Okay. In case if you obtained more than one, then you need to solve once again by rewriting the given equations. By rewrite the equation. And get the value within the limit. Till you get the value within the limits, you go on solving the example.